The big phones are coming. Tablets and phones are morphing into the same device. And I, for one, cannot wait. Big phones are a big deal. Phones have been getting bigger over the past couple of years, and the trend is only continuing at this year's Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Samsung announced its Galaxy S5, which has a 5.1-inch screen. The LG G Pro 2 has a 5.9-inch screen. And Chinese company Huawei announced a phone that has a full 7-inch screen. Yes, really. These phones have so much in common with tablets, in fact, that people are even starting to call them phablets. Get it? Phone plus tablet. It grows on you. And in my opinion, this will be the device that gets rid of the 7 and 8 inch tablet completely. Now I understand why people like small tablets. They're lightweight, they're easy to hold, and I could be sitting here on the couch watching my videos, checking Facebook, looking at email, looking at Twitter. All of that is wonderful and all in one place, except then I get a text message and I realize this is the device that has all the other stuff I mentioned, plus my texting plus uploading to Instagram, and I can even call my mom. That's key. Now I know these phones seem a little awkward. They're not that portable. They don't fit in the pocket of your skinny jeans. That is true, but I carry a purse. I don't care if you have a backpack or a book bag or a man purse. It doesn't matter how big your phone is. Plus I think that men should stop wearing skinny jeans anyway. If you're looking for a phablet now, I've been using the Galaxy Note 3 for a couple of weeks and I am a big fan. I especially like the stylus, which actually adds extra functionality and it's kind of fun. So far, Apple is the only holdout on the big screen trend. Even Donald Trump has demanded that they make a bigger screen phone and I agree. So if the iPhone 6 comes out and it's a nice big screen device, I think we're all just going to have to accept it. Phablets are here to stay. You're gonna have to say it too, phablets.